my dear students, just want to tell you, you can get A plus in your mathematics or additional max. You can be a perfect scorer if you know how. Okay, so one of the technique is using calculator because every one of us are very careless. So we need somebody to check for us. We need calculator to check for us to check our careless mistake. So the main purpose of this video is to help you to avoid careless mistake. So please fully utilize your calculator in exam. Okay, to double check your answer. Okay, I hope all of you can get A plus in max or at max in any exam, either in school exam or in SPM exam. Okay, I wish you good luck and enjoy my video. So this is question A. So the Q1 and then uh, Q1 is 6, Q3 is 20. So the interquartile range is 20 minus 6, 14. And the median is 13. So later, you can see how I use the calculator to get the right answer, okay? Okay, student, now you on your calculator, press menu, then choose a histogram, number 6, huh? number 6, okay, number 6 is meant for statistic. Then you choose one, I variable, okay, one is I variable, alright, you press one, then the calculator will display the column for you to key in the data, okay, so you key in all your data, uh, <coughs> we start with the a, uh, we do A, uh, so we key in all the data into the calculator. We start with 4, okay, and then 4, okay, and then 6, okay, 8, one by one. Uh. And this is ungrouped data, <coughs> ungrouped data. So you don't have to on the frequency, 13, because it don't have frequency, what, ungrouped data, 15, 16, Okay, then 20, then 22, and then 23 lah, the last one. Okay, the data means X ah, key in into the calculator for the first column. Okay, now okay, now you pay attention ah, very important step. You press option 3. Okay, option 3. Okay, then the calculator will show you everything. Okay, your calculator will show you the mean everything so you can actually read out some of data square some of x square some of the x okay so you can study your calculator uh, but the most important is we want to find median right and interquartile right q1 q3 or oh, you press arrow down press arrow down ah got some more you know so now you can see you have 11 data and your uh, median you can read MED is median. Okay, Q1 also you can read, right? Your Q1. Your Q1 is 6. Your median 13. And then your Q3 is 20. So you can find interquartile range, right? Okay, how to find interquartile range? Q3 minus Q1. Isn't it very easy? Okay, good. So for question B, the first quartile is actually the average. Uh, 14 plus 14 divided by 2. And then the, the third quartile is 20 plus 21 divided by 2. And the interquartile range is 6.5. And the median is 19. So later you check with the calculator. This is answer for question B. Question C. Okay, your first quartile is actually average of 2.5 plus 2.5 divided by 2, which is 2.5. And your median is actually 2.6 plus 2.8 divided by 2, 2.7, right? And the third quartile is 2.9 plus 3.0 divided by 2. So later, you will see uh, how I use the calculator to get 0 0.45. And also, I will get median 2.7. Alright? Okay, let's start on the calculator menu. Go to number 6. Histogram, go to number 6. Alright? Okay, then press 1. I variable. Okay, then you key in the data one by one into your calculator. K 
Okay, so we start key in one by one carefully into the calculator. So we start with 2.3, 2.5, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10. And last one finally is 3.2. Okay, then remember what I say? Option 3. Option 3. Go to option 3, then you see. Okay, 3 is I variable. Okay, then you see all the answer appear. Okay, you can study the data there. Alright, okay, now I say we want the most important is median first quartile and third quartile, right? Okay, so you can double check your first quartile, your median, as I say 2.7, your Q3 is 2.95. Okay, then you find the Q1 2.5. So your interquartile range is 2.95 minus 2.5, which is equal for this question. Also, you can use a calculator to find the interquartile range. All right, later you see uh, in my video. So in my video, I will show you how to find uh, Q1, Q3, even median also using calculator. So the interquartile range is also you can just minus to get the answer. Lah. Okay, come on, let's start. On the calculator, menu, go to menu, then choose 6. Alright, then go to 1. And now we need to on the frequency, right? Okay, now go to shift, menu, arrow now, down, then choose 3. Okay, 1, on your frequency first. Okay, now we will key in everything into the calculator. We start with the 2, then 3, then 4, 5, then 6, then 7, then 8. Okay, then we move the cursor to the frequency. Then we key in carefully. We key in 3, we key in 5, we key in 6, we key in 8, and then 12, alright, and 7, okay, 7. And finally is 3. Alright, so now we go to option 3. And we read everything there. Okay. And most important, arrow down. You can see the answer or not. Your Q1 is what? 4. Your Q3 is what? 6. Okay, interquartile range will be 6 minus 4, which is 2, right? Okay, good. So, you can see clearly. Okay, even uh, Q1 is 4. Actually, you in exam, you just uh, do using the working, uh, using the formula. Then after that, you just press your calculator to double check so that you will get perfect score. Okay, you, you will get perfect answer. And you will get a plus. Okay. Okay, my students, I want to tell you, you can get a plus. Okay, you can use your calculator to avoid careless mistake. So please fully utilize your calculator so that you will get perfect answer. With a perfect answer, then you become perfect scorer. Then you become A plus student. Okay, I wish you good luck 
and keep on practice okay keep on practice your max and your at max okay bye see you